Edward. Hmm? Privateering, is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Or why not sail with the King's Navy? That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. I've made my choice, Adam. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. You murdered our brothers and sisters in Habana. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are swimming. Remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Mr. Peter! <laughs> Oi. My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Caroline! Caroline! Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend. Like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? Oh, come on now. Pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I betted myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. Killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison. Safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason, and sapped of all spirit. <laughs>